baby pancakes for breakfast this morning. I'm going to make two different ones. The first one is going to be a regular one. The second one is going to be a pumpkin spice one because we're decorating for fall today. <laughs> so I have three eggs in here. We whisk those together. Now we're putting in half a cup of milk. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of butter in both of my skillets over here and put them in the oven just for the butter to be melting while the oven's preheating. So this is just going to be the regular one. We're going to put in three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it for the regular one. All we're going to do different with the next one is put in a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, about, I guess about a teaspoon. Nobody was scared of it? Okay y'all, today's the day. We are about to bring fall inside and wait for it to show up outside. We're gonna decorate in here today and some of the porch. I don't have everything that I wanna do for outside yet, you know, where we set up our hay bales and all that. We don't have that stuff and I might get a couple of other things for the porch, like some more fake pumpkins and stuff. It's gonna be fun. I have a different tablecloth that we're gonna put out and I already started sitting some stuff out over here. So we're gonna move all of this. Someone left a cookie over here. We're gonna move that all this. Me. It was, was you. Me. There you go. We're gonna move all this fall stuff over here so we can change out the tablecloth first. So we have this tablecloth and this one. That way when one gets dirty, you know we can switch out. This one came from Big Lots. This one came from Hobby Lobby. What else you see in there? A little pumpkin? Uh-huh. Which one should we do first, Manny? The pumpkin one or this one? Um, this one first. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this one first and then we'll switch out to this pumpkin one when we need to wash this one. It was $13.99 from Big Lots. This one says $29.99, but it was 40% off from Hobby Lobby. 
Manly thinks this is the perfect spot for the pumpkin. We're gonna leave it right there with Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox has actually been here since we got him. Titus put him over here and I just never moved it, so. I think we've got one more thing in the box. It looks orange. Is it a scarecrow? Yeah! Ah, he's alive, he's alive! <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. All right, it's almost time to cook supper, but I wanna put the little scarecrows and hay bales out here on the porch real quick. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put them here where the bench is or over here by the welcome sign. I think over here by the welcome sign, yeah. We only have two of the straw bales, so instead of doing it like they have it on the picture here, we're just gonna put ours like a V shape, I think. That one right there, we'll put these leaves around. Yes. I think I'm gonna put these scarecrows inside. I don't know. This is like a giant scarecrow family out here. <laughs> We are back inside. That's it for today. Uh, I'm not the greatest decorator, but it's fun. I am going to get some more pumpkins. Whenever we do the other part outside, I'm going to get a few pumpkins to put on the porch too. Because it's not looking like we're going to be having a gigantic pumpkin harvest out there. We've got a few, but definitely not enough to decorate with like Titus was hoping for. So now it's time to cook supper. We're gonna make this. I made this several years ago. It's an autumn shepherd's pie. It has a sweet potato and regular potato crust. So I put my sweet potatoes in the microwave to go ahead and start softening them up, but I think they need to go a little bit longer. And I'll go ahead and start getting ready to cook ground beef. Okay, so we've got 2.8 pounds of ground chuck. Let me check these potatoes now and see if they're gonna be soft enough to slice. Miss Turkey's on the porch? No, in the house. Oh, you're talking about that turkey over there. Oh yeah, they're gonna be soft enough to slide now. I'll let those cool down. I think we're gonna make some biscuits and green beans to go with. Well, we're gonna have green, uh, we're gonna have sweet peas in the shepherd's pie. So maybe we'll just make some biscuits and corn maybe. Yeah, I think corn. Donna said he would like corn too. So we'll go with corn since we're gonna have the sweet peas in here. Yes, yeah, in the other freezer in there. I just remembered I had two boxes of scalloped potatoes in there, and the sauce that came with these was a creamy cheddar and blue cheese. None of us like blue cheese. Tyler tries, he tries, but he doesn't like it. So, 
we're going to use these potatoes so we don't waste these. I just threw away the cheese sauce since none of us like it. We'll use these potatoes instead of slicing some. We're going to use these and the sweet potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and slice the onion and the carrots up real quick. It's completely different than, you know, the way we normally make shepherd's pie. So, you like it better than regular shepherd's pie? I like them both. They're different? I like, you like this them both one differently? sometimes. Like this one, in my opinion, this tastes like something you'd make in the winter time, kind of. It's almost got it's a... It's almost like a beef... Uh, it's got a cool weather feel to it, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd want to make this one in, in cool weather. Not in hot. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying it's <laughs> got that kidding. taste to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's get a hold of this biscuit right here. Y'all ain't never put apple uh, jelly and butter on a good homemade biscuit, you don't know what you're missing. 